Hello there. Once again, uh, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Pete and I am an OFW here in Singapore. Okay, as if you have uh, watched my previous videos, guys, I'll be, uh, I was actually dealing with different uh, field of studies. Like, I'm uh, focusing on wealth and then health and then uh, this time I'll be discussing with you uh, about grammar <laughs> diba ang, ang, ang saya from health tapos wealth ngayon naman grammar tapos next time I'll be discussing about psychology as well and then uh, at marami pang iba I'll be discussing also uh, about gemstones I'm, I love that I mean the crystals and any types of stones and then about perfume fashion we'll do that but this time i'll be uh discussing with you the common english mistakes of filipinas i mean me personally i am not perfect in english but at least i can express myself i can uh, talk to different nationalities i mean different races as long as I can speak in English as well, then I can comprehend, I can understand, I can uh, talk, and I can write as well. But not that, I mean, not very flair in writing. Anyways, uh, sorry, anyways actually is an informal word for anyway, so acceptable pa rin siya. Pero kung formal ka magsusulat, it should be anyway. Pero, but, but, in, but if you're talking, anyways is already accepted. It's a uh, like a slang okay this is very common mistakes for us filipinas because it is not our mother tongue but uh english actually is our second language and it is official so i think it is also very important to learn these uh common mistakes and to avoid this one para hindi tayo pagtawanan ng kapwa Pinoy, lalo na tayo, di ba? Ang kapwa Pinoy sobrang napaka, alam mo yun, perfectionist na English grammar, pero hindi naman, kahit naman mga matataas CEOs, nangakamali din sila eh. Pero, itong kasi mga common to, eh, narinig natin sila, tas na tumatawa tayo, at least, ito, dinidiscuss ko siya para next time, alam na natin, di ba? Okay. What we have here is, number one is, yung word na fill up. Actually guys, di ba, pa nag-apply tayo ng ano, trabaho, sinasabi nila na parang, sabi ng HR staff or paki-fill up na lang po tong application letter or application form rather guys mali po yung fill up ano yun feeling like nagiiigib ka ba fill this uh, pail or fill fill this up with water kung nagiiigib ka pwede yung fill up diba nilagyan ng tubig pero pag mag magpipirma ka sa isang form it should be fill out so next time alam niyo na ha mali ang fill up ha mali it should be fill out. Please fill out this form. Okay? Yun yung number one. Number two, is ito pa. Kahit mga radio, uh, radio and TV personalities sa probinsya namin, may namin nakakamali. Sinasabi nila na there are a lot of equipments. Mali po yun kasi ang word po na equipment, noun po siya na nasa no, mass noun siya. So kahit madami, isa, dalawa, sampu, isang dami, isang milyon, Equipment pa din po siya. Wala siyang S. Okay? Equipment. There is no such word as equipment. Mali po yun. So, dapat equipment. Okay, number three is, ito pa, gaya ko narinig to, uh, supposed to be. Mali po yun. Ang tama po is supposedly. Okay? Number four, sabihin ng office mate mo or ng boss mo, pahingi ako ng team number. Or pahingi, ano bang pin number ng ATM mo? Mali po yun kasi ang TIN, TIN, Tax Identification Number, dapat ano yung TIN mo or ano yung PIN mo. Huwag lang sabihin na ano yung TIN number kasi nga yung N number na yun, ba Parang naghahanap ako ng ATM machine. Mali din yun kasi yung M doon, machine na yun din. Naghahanap ako ng ATM. So, Automated Teller Machine. Okay? Number five is, ito, kahit graduate school na sila ha, nakakamali pa rin sila. Wala pong word na masteral sa English. Wala. Pinoy English po yun. So, mali po yung masteral. 
master lang po. Meron pong word na doctorate o kaya doctoral, pero ang masteral po, wala. It should be master. Masters. Nag-masters ka na ba? O, meron ka bang master's degree? O, hindi sabihin na, nag-masteral ako eh. Mali yun. Walang word na masteral. Okay? Number five, yung ito pa sa office and tour, mga sadyante tayo, pa Xerox ako, mali din yun. Kasi, yung Xerox po is a brand name ng machine na nagpo-photocopy. Dapat po sabihin mo, pa-photocopy po, yun yung tama. Okay? Photocopy, not pa Xerox. Number seven is ito sa mga college students sa high school sinasabi nila pag merong discussion sa school di ba ng teachers sa kanilang students uh, for my opinion mali po yun ang tama po is in my opinion not for my opinion okay number eight is pag nasa bahay ka or sa school sabi na uh, close the light or open the light it's also wrong should it should be turn off the light or turn on the light okay The number nine, ito, marami ito nagkakamali nito. Kahit naman ako, dati nung hasko nagkamali rin ako nito eh. Tapos kinorek na ko, kaya gusto kong ishare sa inyo, okay? Yung one of the. One of the means plural. So sabihin mo, one of the people, or one of the students, or one of the places, one of my favorite bags. Hindi yung one of my classmate, mali. One of my friend, mali rin yun. One of uh, my enemy, mali. Kasi nga, ang one of the, isa sa mga. So, it's plural, di ba? One of the classmates, one of the friends, one of the employees, okay? Number 10 is, ito, mali, ano din to, yung sinasabi nilang uh, discuss about. Uh, today, I'm going to discuss about, mali po yun. Ang tama po is, today, I'm going to discuss this topic. Or, I'm going to discuss this chat subject. Hindi po pwedeng discuss about kasi po, ang discuss po is actually a transitive verb. Tapos yung word po na about, uh, ito po isang proposition. So kung magamit ka ng about, huwag lang sabihin yung discuss about. Dapat discuss diretso na sa topic or discuss about sa subject. Okay? Yun lang po guys. Gusto kong i-share sa inyo. Sana po mayroon kayo tutunan about dito para po next time, hindi na tayo kamali at hindi tayo pagtatawalan. Ako hindi ako perfect pero kahit paano, sinishare ko po sa inyo kung ano yung nalalaman ko. ba? Diba? Kung ano yung binabasa ko, sinishare ko po sa inyo. Because I believe, because I believe, sharing is caring. Okay? Once again, my name is Pete. Hello, hello, hello. I am uh, from the Philippines and I'm also an OFW here in Singapore. Thank you guys. Please do hit the like button and subscribe me. Bye-bye.